Welcome to Techie Jack. In today's video, we are kicking off an exciting collaboration series on Windows Plus DevOps Automation. If you have ever wondered how to manage Windows system using Ansible, you are in the right place. I have invited my friend Nikhil, a DevOps expert who is going to walk you through the Ansible side. But before we dive into automation, let's first set the stage on the Windows configuration side. If we see our scenario, I have a computer name with DC01 and the IP address is 192.168.12.102. We have a Windows Server 2022 installed on it and on the other side we have a controlling node and Rocky Linux 8.10 is installed on it and the IP address of our controlling node is 192.168.12.106. So our plan is to manage Windows Server 2022 through the controlling node with the Ansible. So let's see what we have to configure on our Windows machine. Ansible uses WinRM to connect to Windows machine. So we will run few commands to set up our Windows server before we can control it with the Ansible. So first of all we have to run this WinRM quick config. This command sets up a default listener on port 5985 on HTTP and start the WinRM service if it's not already running. Our second command is this. This command enables the basic authentication which allows username and password login over WinRM. We will use this method because it's compatible with Ansible and don't worry we are only using it in a lab or secure network environment and our next command is WinRM requires encryption but for simple lab setup we can allow encrypted traffic especially if you are not using any SSL certificate and our next command is and this command also do the same thing as above but via the WS man PowerShell provider. This is the another way to ensure unencrypted traffic is allowed. And our next command is enable PS remoting. This enables PowerShell remoting which is necessary because WinRM is built on it and it configures the firewall and services behind the scenes. And also we have to open the firewall port as well. So we will run this command let and this opens the port 5985 and we can run this command as well for 5986 port this command opens the port 5986 used for https ssl based encryption you can open it in case you want to enable secure winrm later once you run this command and configure your windows server according to it now you can set up the Ansible and you can control the Windows Server through the Ansible. So let's go to the server and run these commands to configure our server configuration. So right now we are on our server, Windows Server 2022 and we will run the following command let to configure our server. So let's open the PowerShell and I will paste this command and let's wait for a while. The command has ran successfully. Let's cross check it. Here it said allow encrypted is true. Basic authentication is set to true. The port is 5985 for HTTP and 5986 for HTTPS. Allow remote access is true. So our command has ran successfully. Let's also configure the firewall to allow the port 5985. Here you can see the direction is inbound, action is allowed. It has successfully allowed the port 5985. So we have successfully ran our required commands to enable the Windows Server to communicate with the Ansible. Now this Windows system is ready to accept the Ansible connection. Let me hand over to Nikhil who will show you how to configure the Ansible control node and test the connection. Thank you so much. Before we dive into the Ansible setup, let me give a quick intro for those who are hearing about the Ansible for the very first time. Ansible is an open source automation tool used to manage system, deploy software and orchestrate IT environment. Means all without needing to install anything on the target machine. Here's why Ansible is so powerful. It's agentless. Ansible is an agentless configuration management tool. Means you don't need to install anything on the target machines. Human readable playbooks means it uses simple YAML based playbooks which are easy to read and write. Cross platform support. Basically, Ansible can manage Linux, Windows, Cloud, VMs or even containers all from a single control node. Think of Ansible like a remote control. 
you just need to write the instruction and it execute them across multiple machine at once now let's set it up to manage a windows machine using a linux control node this is our linux machine rocky linux so first of all to install the ansible we must be having a pip3 install on this server so to verify it we can use pip3 hyphen hyphen version command as we can see pip3 is installed in this server now let's try to install the ansible using the pip3 the command is pip3 install ansible so it will install the ansible using the pip3 package so it will take a couple of minutes to complete the installation here as you can see ansible got installed successfully let's verify it using the ansible hyphen hyphen version command and we can see ansible got installed successfully ansible core version 2.11.12 got installed now let's create our ansible inventory file which tells ansible what to connect and how to connect so let's create our inventory file vei inventory so first of all we need to specify the group name to create a group name we need to place the name under the square bracket so here we are trying to connect with the windows host so we need to give a name called windows here basically we can manage multiple windows host under this group below that we need to specify the ip address so here the ip address is 192.168.12.102 we can specify multiple ip address below that now we need to specify the variables here to specify that windows colon vars all these variable will be applicable to the windows group whatever the ip address we are going to specify under this particular group all this variable will be inherited by those host now we need to set the authentication methods first of all we need to specify the user to connect with this host so here we are going to use a keyword called ansible underscore user and the username is administrator then we need to specify the password to authenticate to that particular host to specify that we can use the keyword called ansible underscore password and the password is in the clear text format as of now now we need to specify the protocol why because ansible uses ssh by default but here we are trying to connect with the windows host to do that we need to use a keyword called ansible underscore connection and the connection will be using winrm as a protocol over there then we need to specify the port as we are going to use a port number 5985 which used for unencrypted http based vnrm connection so for that ansible underscore port is the keyword and the port number is 5985 then we are going to use a basic authorization which is simple and works for the testing environment to enable that ansible underscore win rm underscore transport equal to basic at last we are going to skip the access certificate verification it's safe for lab use only and i will suggest not to use in the production to enable that we are going to use ansible underscore winrm underscore server underscore cert underscore validation equal to ignore now with this inventory file ansible knows exactly how to connect to our windows machine next let's test the connection using the win underscore ping module now we are going to use the ansible ad hoc command to check the connection the command is ansible hyphen i stands for inventory so we are going to specify the inventory file name which we just created here so file name is inventory then we need to specify the machine or the group name so here we are specifying the group name which we just created in our inventory file as we can see in our inventory file let's open the file at the top we can see we just created a group called windows and that we have a host 102 let's try to connect with that and then we need to specify the hyphen m option which is to specify the module and then we are going to use a win underscore ping module which will be used to establish a connection with that as we can see the command got failed because it requires winrm or the request module to be installed basically ansible uses a python the python script will be going to be executed on the remote host but here the winrm is not installed at all to install that we need to use a pip module itself let's try to install the winrm module command is pip3 install pi winrm is the module name let's install it the winrm got installed successfully let's try to execute the same command again and we can see this time command worked fine and we got a response in a green that means ansible is now in the control let's try to run a basic command just to be sure so for that we are going to use a win underscore shell module to execute a command on the windows machine and here we are going to use a command called hostname to see the hostname of the machine as we can see we are able to see the hostname of the 102 machine that is a dc01 let's verify the same from the windows machine as well this is our windows machine let's see the ip address for the same that is the 102 let's try to run the hostname command here as well 
and we can see we got the same response that is a DC01 which we got on the Ansible or the control node. Let's try to run the same command that is ipconfig we just ran on the Windows machine. Let's try to run this. We got the exact same output on our Ansible control node. Now that we have got Ansible talking to our Windows host, the possibilities are endless. We can automate Windows patching, software deployment and even integrate this into a full scale CI/CD pipeline. If you are passionate about DevOps, AmbleOps and automation, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel Techinic, where I regularly share practical content to help you grow your skills and the career.